Dr. Stone is licensed and produced by Shueisha and Crunchyroll, Studios, TMS Entertainment and 8pun, Networks, Tokyo MX, KBS, Sun, BS11, TVH, TBC, TVA and TVQ. Based on the works by Riichiro Inagaki. Please support the official release. Hello, the of Jack here. We have more Doctor Stone, episode 13. And last time we acquired Sulfuric Acid, the foundation of all chemistry. And I probably allows it to do a lot of nifty things. I mean, like, getting the thing was kind of exhausting. <laughs> Wow, I couldn't come up with a better word for that just now. That's pathetic. Uh, yeah, I'm also just kind of, you know, whoops, thinking about whether or not, would the thing work as a weapon against Tsukasa? Like, just to be clear about one thing, obviously getting hit by Sephiric Acid, not good, but it doesn't instantly dissolve you or anything. Like, you would get a serious rash on your skin even if you wash it off right away, I think. Or, never mind if you get in the eyes, it's just... You might be blind, most likely. But... Kind of what I'm getting at is, like... People really like to overplay how fast acid dissolves something. Or even how much it can dissolve. That, that said, though, the... The gases, the whatever they were called... They might work rather well as a weapon. I mean, that's like... Chemical warfare, literally. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know the comp components of mustard gas, because, you know, an average person just happens to know them, I guess. <laughs> but, yeah, it's not necessarily mustard gas. Like, this would work even better as an instant killer, if it's that potent. Though, I suppose, like, that's kind of, that was kind of because of the, you know, convex container. They happen to be in, so like, it was a nice layer of it, and I don't think it would work that well if you just like dispersed it on, on a flat surface where it could just run away in, in that sort of sense. Anyway, episode 13, uh, about to have the great bout. Uh, Kane still doesn't have his glasses because, well, he's a chicken that doesn't tell anyone that he needs them. And we may or may not get a new opening at some point. It's my hope, at least. I mean, I like the opening, honestly, but... You know, since I have been made a fool by... Uh, Kimetsu no Yaiba, I would rather like this show to have a new opening. <laughs> anyway, let's get into this. In the three, in the two, in the one. Go. Well, it's fair to be worried, I suppose. Why did they let him carry it? <laughs> A crazy roadmap, yeah. <laughs> that one, yeah. Again, look. You're kind of fast-forwarding through a couple of centuries of work here, so... Oh? Well, it sounds exhilarating. Nope, not new opening yet. I mean, I've mentioned this before, like, sort of... The more tools and materials you have, the faster you are at making more precise or better tools, and so on and so forth. Positive feedback loop. So, the kind of process sort of speeds up exponentially. Which you can kind of see when you look at our time, in the modern world, where we kind of, you know, spit out these pills at billions. And quantity with the push of a button, so I mean, that's not gonna happen anytime soon here, but it conveys the idea. <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, we haven't like depetrified anyone in forever. 
Which is kind of fun because initially I thought that was supposed to be the main goal, but not not only did we clear it in the first episode, it's kind of become like such a took a bit of a setback compared to more pressing issues, I guess. I mean, we gotta save Rui, we gotta like build the national science so that we can fight off Tsukasa. Uh Yeah. I suppose that's kind of where we're at. <laughs> yeah, that that seems pretty impressive, honestly. Oh. <laughs> Hydrochloric acid. <laughs> <laughs> well, damn, he's really like fast sorting through all this. <laughs> Sorry, guys, just getting more more freaked out. <laughs> yeah, them again, yeah. <laughs> it just gets worse and worse. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I mean, yeah, that would freak you out if it's the first time you ever even see chemistry. Again, it freaks me out the most, the fact that he just knows this off the top of his head. Well, convenient! <laughs> Yeah, he's still squinting, though. He's pretty chill about being replaced soon. The preparations, at least. That's fair, honestly. Put your misogynistic standpoint, but oh well. Oh, what now? <laughs> Yeah, but he can't even enter. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, whatever works for that crazy scheme, I suppose. Well, more Senkus. Oh, no, you got <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, 
Magma just literally killed a person before for the sake of winning. Grant that Gen survived, but still. <laughs> Have some delicious apples. <laughs> <laughs> they are going to surrender. <laughs> I mean, if it helps, I'll eat I'm pretty sure. <laughs> It's pretty much the whole point here, isn't it? Like, helping her. At, you know, stopping Magma, but that kind of goes hand in hand. Well, rather, one is immediately accomplished with the other. Like, stopping Magma alone doesn't, like, help you. So I suppose he's allowed to enter for the purpose of participating. Damn. Also, finally got some time scale here, too. <laughs> I feel like you've taken plenty of steps, honestly, yet. But, hey, first step on your little side quest here. No? What's with that reaction? I mean, th did the name come up from Kohaku or something? Oh, please elaborate. Nope, this is something rather different. Yeah, long overdue, apparently. I have no idea. I don't think it's been a secret thus far or something, but... So, like, that knowledge passed down... Yeah, so, like, legend has been passed down or whatever. <laughs> Once again, should you, like, just spout out those facts just like that? Your plans and whatnot? Need? <laughs> I mean, yeah, whatever works, huh? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Once again, I'm surprised that somehow the word tomboy made it... Made it. Just like made it. In their little village. Rigged? <laughs> so how are you gonna rig it though?
Yeah, that would be most convenient. <laughs> well, probably the worst possible outcome, if I had to guess. You kinda had too much luck thus far. Kane and Magma! <laughs> Perfect face. <laughs> Fair enough, honestly. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> How many have you had if you counted another one? Okay. <laughs> Uh, I mean, why would Kohaku lose though? <laughs> tom tom tom. So, he's not wearing any mask of sorts. With glasses, you know. So why would you run back instead of, like, you know, helping her? Well, isn't that just righteous of you? Well, I suppose it makes sense for, like, magma and mantle. Why not? Isn't just, uh, just, just to have to be the most convenient naming. What do you mean double sure? Oh, like for her to be gone. Well, isn't that just nice of you? I mean, is it corrupt? Other than just, like, uh, getting Gohaku to run away 
sort of like help Suika. Are your toes backwards? Still don't really know what the mask thing is about, though. <laughs> well, I suppose we need some sideline characters to narrate it. <laughs> Oh, that's corrupt, huh? <laughs> Just, you know, yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so, you know, not allowed. Oh, wow, you tied her up. What even is that <laughs> that you're doing? God damn it. Tom Tom Tom. Oh yeah, that's a problem, I suppose. So, hand over your, uh, like, little helmet, I guess. <laughs> I love the video game sounds! Well, even if she was, she would be dead by now! <laughs> there you go! Well, yeah. Distance really is his arch enemy here, huh? So does he just like instant win once he puts on the like helmet of sorts? Very much so, yeah. POWER OF FRIENDSHIP! <laughs> yeah, but is the spinning like a necessary part? Okay. Is that allowed though? I mean, who cares? <laughs> nice reflection. <laughs> That's just an equip an equip sound to a place. <laughs> Yeah, much more neat than just a gold spear, huh? <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> For the sight. <laughs> what a li- Damn. At least she looks normal and not like, you know, scrooged up old man face. <laughs> he looks so epic, but also not. <laughs> yep. 
Yay! Is it actually over though? <laughs> I'm really not sure. I mean, he was down on his knees and he got wrecked pretty good. But, oh well. So yeah, my incredible prediction that nobody could ever have seen coming with a title like uh, Masked Fighter, Masked Hero, whatever it was, uh, turned out to be correct. I'm not even that proud of it. <laughs> But, hey, we got an epic scene out of it. <laughs> oh, what a great episode. I mean, the only problem is if you were to ha get disqualified now because of that. I mean, it's like, kind of like throwing uh, someone a weapon, isn't it? I mean, obviously not in the same sense, but... You were aiding them. Then again, I'm contemplating the rules of fairness in a society that still decides their next village chief in a great battle strength. And letting someone participate who literally proclaims that he's gonna kill uh, Rudy like the second he gets married to her. Or just, you know, let her die on, his, on her own. No reveal though. Yes. Actually, is it though? Master of Flame. What's it gonna be like? Spitting fire? That would be neat. So I don't think anything Senku made is much like about inflammable. Like, especially he said that he needs some alcohol, which is, I think, what you'd usually use. Not that I know though. Um. Yeah, so, I mean, other than the general epicness of <laughs> that fight there in Suica and whatnot, uh, and Kuhaku running about nowhere, to nowhere, like literal, where would you even go look, by the way? I mean, rivers tend to be long, no? <laughs> okay, putting all that aside for now, uh, like, Rudy is suddenly walking up to Zenku and apparently knowing his last name, or even what the last name is for that matter, because that knowledge has been passed down through the generations we don't really know where they came from yet and again like if you, if you have like a whole group of people that means multiple people had to be departified to kind of kickstart this whole place it really makes me just curious like the the interview i think he was talking about that I really want to know now like was it one of his classmates someone who knew him but who even it's not like he was super famous or something i mean i guess he was within the school to an extent, but not beyond that or something. Neat. Yeah, neat episode. All around. <laughs> really liked it. Uh, yeah, I mean, if Magma actually just lost for good, that kind of seems like the end of the the whole Great Bound difficulty, because he was like the only opponent we need, we need to worry about. Unless a surprise challenger appears. Which is kind of why I doubt that Magma is already a down for the count. Like, literally, you have Kohaku, you have King, you have even Senku and whatnot, so... Uh, and, like, there weren't even that many participants, were there? There were eight or something. Let me just look it up real quick. When they're drawing up the brackets. Okay, you don't actually ever see the whole thing. But just from the scale of it, it doesn't look like there's too much. Though that could be deceiving, I suppose. Uh, he has 8 or 16, maybe. Now we have Senku, Gin, Kin, Chrome, Kuhaku. There's like 5 of us. So if we happen to have only 8 participants and Magma was already down, that will only leave 2 actual challenges left. Oh well. <laughs> Wait and see, I guess. Anyway, that's gonna be all for now. Until next time, see you then. Bye.